Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Mike, and today's video tutorial um, is going to be based on how to create your own donate button. So, it could be a range of sizes, you know, I'm not sure what size, depending on what size you want, uh, you might want to change, but um, anyway, I'm going to show you how to create your own donate button for your own name site, or whatever site, website you own, it could be a social networking site, whatever, just, um, I'm just gonna show you how to make it so you can link it up with your PayPal account and stuff. All right, so um, I'm heading to my Photoshop, and um, this is one I've created right before this video, so I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time making like you know a whole bunch of details. So I just made one beforehand. So this is the one I made. Uh, the size for this one I made was uh, I don't know. It was 250. No. The size I made this one was 583 by 108. Um, so you can start off like that if you want, or you can just, you know, whatever. I'm gonna try it. So, um, in fact, I don't recommend that. Uh, go to File New, and what we're gonna do is create another, another uh, preset. We're gonna go 600 by uh, 350. Okay. So it's going to be big enough so you can uh, size it down to however big or small you want it. Alright, so 600 by 305, I mean 350. So to start off, I'm going to select the custom shape tool. I'm going to hold click on it and select my rounded rectangle tool. And you want to make sure your radius is at 50. Alright, so after you have that, what we're going to do is uh, click and drag and drop. I mean, not drag and drop, but drag and you know create your shape so depending on how your you want your button it could be a square donate button a long uh, circular button like that you know it's all depending on what you want so I mix my something like that like a long you know something like that now I already have a custom applied style to this so I'm just gonna um, delete that style I'm gonna double click on that shape right my layer styles panel will come up all right so i'm going to add a drop shadow to it and as you can see that's what the drop shadow does it's like a shadow behind your shape and what i'm going to do is just drop down the distance to zero and i'm going to increase the size to about 10 like that all right so for the inner shadow we're going to select the inner shadow we're going to also drop down the distance to zero and increase the size to about 15. 15, 20, depending on how you want it. So let me see. 20 seems good. It gives it that, you know, that beveled um, effect. All right. So I'm gonna give it a stroke. So there's a black outline. I'm gonna decrease that by two. Um, you could put it inside or outside. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna put inside for this one. And uh, next, I'm gonna give it a custom gradient. Now I made one. You know, specifically for you guys to download, it's gonna be on my website. Um, it's called, well, I named it a tri color gradient because it has three colors. It has like a soft, off red, pink, I mean, not pink, like a pear, I mean, not a pear, like what am I saying, a peach color, whatever, and uh, or like a light salmon pink or something, and uh, white with a nice soft baby blue in there. So it's a pretty nice gradient I made, so I think you guys might enjoy that so I put this up there for download on my website it should be under the what's new category in my website so head over to my website scroll down you see what's new and you'll be able to click that right there and download that gradient anyway so here's the gradient um, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna press ok after that I don't have to you know add anything else if you wanted to add like a pattern overlay or something to it you can instead of going to the bevel and emboss option you select your pattern and in, while we're still in gradient overlay, you might want to set it to about multiply or something like that, or soft light. Let me see. Screen. No, that's too light. Uh, soft light. Uh, trying to, you could try changing up the pattern if you want. You know, it's all depending. But that's how you do it. All right. So I'm just gonna put mine back on normal and press OK. All right. So here's my gradient. Here's my button. Um, Next, I'm going to add a cool text. I'm going to change the color to black. And I'm going to add donate to it. Donate. 
Alright, so I have that. I'm gonna center it. Alright, and now I'm gonna add a cool custom shape. So you can either click and hold and select custom shape or select the little custom shape icon up there. And I'm gonna choose from some of the cool uh, custom shapes I have. I'm just gonna draw one out like that. Pretty big one. And hold and click again. Draw two of the same one. You could do two different shapes if you want. I'm just gonna put one right there. And select the other one. Put one right there as well. And just to make it a little different, I'm just gonna go to transform, flip it vertical, like that. And next what I'm gonna do is select my those two shapes, hold shift and select both of them. And what I'm gonna do is press control E. What that does is merge both of them together and it merges the layer style as well. Now I'm gonna um, control click on that shape layer which is the donate button shape. Control click on that. Now select the shape. We're gonna name that to, I don't know, design uh, or whatever. And what we're gonna do is hit control shift I to inverse it and then we're gonna hit the backspace button. So as you can see, it's like cuts everything out besides the one that's inside. And we're gonna put that behind the donate button. And if you want, you can drop the opacity down to about uh, 50, 60, whatever like that. All right. And uh, once you're done with that, we're gonna um, control D to deselect. And next, what we're gonna do is select that donate text. We're gonna give that a layer style as well. I'm gonna give it a drop shadow. I'm gonna give it a stroke to about two. And we're gonna change the color overlay. We're gonna change that to white. And give it an inner shadow. I'm gonna decrease the distance and put the size to about four. And if you wanted to, you could give it a gradient overlay as well. And uh, I don't know, gradient overlay and put the color overlay to about uh, multiply or overlay like that so we're gonna leave it at that and uh, once you don't get donate button you want to save it as your PSD so you know save as um, name it and save it as a PSD so you can always go back and edit it alright so next what we're gonna do is uh, um, select those three um, layers that we made the three uh, you know the three factors in this button we're going to drag and drop in, into a folder and then we're going to make a copy of that alright so next what we're going to do is control E basically what that does is merges it into one whole layer and what we're going to do is control click on it so control click on that thumbnail and then control C to copy it next we're going to go file new and this is you know you're going to get a certain amount based on what you've copied and as you can see it says clipboard because that's what we copied alright so press ok and next we're gonna press control V okay that doesn't look too right so I'm gonna go back and edit that I'm just gonna close that out real quick um, I don't wanna save that no. alright so I'm gonna uh, let me see control C um, Alright, control V. So if it doesn't come out right, it's okay. We're gonna um for this one we're gonna quickly control click control V to deselect everything else. You know what? We're gonna make sure that's all gone. Just keep hitting backspace to everything is gone. Then you control click on that again, control C, control N for no. After you're done editing everything, it should look like this. It should fit perfectly in there. All right. So next, what we're gonna do is take away that background layer. We can just uh, unlock it real quick and uh, drag it into the trash. All right. So next, we have just a blank background with your donate button. Next, what we're gonna do is go to File, Save As, and name it to whatever you want, and make sure you save it as a PNG. And after you save it as a PNG, it should be all well and good, and you have your own created donate button. 
So it's gonna look just like this with no background or anything like that. All you have to do is upload it to Flickr or Photo Bucket or whatever image hosting website you have, get the direct image link to it, and then when you're in uh, PayPal and it asks you if you have your own donate button, just copy and paste the link and you you're all set and ready. So thanks for watching you guys. I hope this was informative and uh, if you have any questions please let me know and I'll try my best to answer it. See ya.